Hey there! We're on our way to Gazan City to pick up a new guitar I ordered. And the store we are going to is called Jolly Music. They've been the talk of the local music scene lately, especially their affordable J-Craft guitars. We're going there now to see for ourselves their merchandise and how good they are quality and price-wise. First, we're picking up our good friend James since I asked him if he wanted to tag along. He said yes, and funny enough, he also decided just now that he will also buy a guitar. This is the 20th Avenue near Cubao, and their building is situated just around this road. And we have arrived. Parking space? Nice. Jolly Music is located up at the second floor, and directly below them is Guitar Pusher a sister company of theirs that carry the more premium and more expensive brands. Oh, and that's also where I got my Chapman ML3 guitar years ago. I did a review of that guitar, so click the top right corner of this video to know more. Here we are, Jolly Music. They're open every day except Sundays from 10am until 7pm. They have a wide range of products including electric guitars, acoustic guitars, bass guitars, ukuleles, keyboards, amplifiers, effects, accessories, what have you. They can also service your beloved instruments if you want to do maintenance or upgrade parts. Their flagship product is their J-Craft guitars, known for being affordable but at the same time having decent quality. For the price. A lot are saying that with just a little setting up and upgrading of some minor parts, these guitars would be worthy for gigs and even recording, perfect for starting musicians who don't have a lot of money to go around. After looking around a bit, I asked for the order I made online, which is a J-Craft S2H in tuxedo black color. Basically, it's a Stratocaster style guitar with an HSS pickup configuration. And it kinda looks like Mateus Asato's signature guitar from Sur. The bright maple fretboard and gold hardware accentuations are what called out to me. But what really sealed the deal was the 5,700 peso price, equivalent to 112 USD. Cheap, right? We just need to see now if the quality is workable. This is Boss Marvin, the sales representative who will be taking care of us today. And here it is the last stock they have on hand of the Tuxedo Black S2H. Good thing I was able to reserve one. I'll be making a detailed review of this guitar, so if you are curious, hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon so you'll be informed the moment the video becomes available. For now, just watch us play around for a bit. James was initially eyeing the pink version of the S2H. But after a while, this black T2 caught our eye, and surprisingly, it felt and played better for James. Our other good friend, Joal, lives nearby, so he went to the store after he saw in social media that we were here. Bili ka rin ng guitar. Sabi niya, chat. Hmm? 
James was still undecided on the D2, but when he found out there was a white version available, it was a no-brainer. While waiting for our orders to be processed, James and Joel messed around with other instruments. Ano battery? Manager, okay na. Thanks, Alibre. One of the awesome perks you'll get when buying a Jolly Music and Guitar Pusher is that they set up your guitar before releasing it to you, for free. Low action, proper intonation, no fret buzz, you know, the works. Here we have Sir j -Rel, our resident guitar tech for the day, and he's now setting up my new guitar. I mean, it was already good out of the box, but he's making sure everything is pitch perfect. And done! Both guitars are now properly set up and ready to be taken home. But before that, we need the obligatory New Guitar Day sofa picture. Time to go home? Not yet. Another good friend of ours, guitar hero Chris G, invited us over next door to his place called Syndicate Audio. This is yet another sister company of Jolly Music and Guitar Pusher. They sell high-end studio recording equipment and this is the place where you can test them. Lucky us because this is the perfect place to try our new entry-level guitars with top-of-the-line gear. James tested out his J-Craft T2 with Chris's setup. And so did I. Afterwards, Chris brought out the big guns, an EVH Stripe Series Frankie costing around 90,000 pesos or almost 2,000 USD.
since Chris also plays the drums, why not jam a bit? Next up, James got his hands on the EVH Wolfgang USA Edward Van Halen signature, which costs around 230,000 pesos or 4,600 US dollars. And the jam continues with a little banjo dancing from Jojo Joel. Hey guys, Abba. Oh phone ran out of battery at this point, but we capped the night off with some grub and booze at a nearby chill and grill restaurant called Countryside. It was a tiring but awesome day, and definitely a different experience from what we've been used to during this pandemic. It was nice to be able to hang out with friends again. Anyway, if you've reached up to this point, thanks for joining us in this mundane day of friends hanging out and playing some music. You take care now, and see you in the next one. Goodbye!